Mondays on CBS. in TV history, our first guest is now chasing women on How I Met Your Mother and kidnapping slackers in the Harold and Kumar movies. Please welcome our good friend, Neil Patrick Harris. serious question very serious you. question I'm ready what was that mystery fluid <laughs> running down Christina Aguilera's leg what a way to class up the show hey. <laughs> I was watching backstage I was hoping it was runs in her stockings <laughs> and I was dry heaving while I was watching that backstage. That's, that's awful. It's awful awful could it not have been clear <laughs> It's so much easier to explain. Oh, okay, God. well, let's we'll class it up a little bit. How do I cover that? Oh, yeah. Last time you were here. Oh. 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 Let it out. So last time you were here, <laughs> you and your fiance David had just brought home your twins, and now oh, they just yeah. turned one in October. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, good to you. Thank you. So how's it going? How's fatherhood? Father, oh yeah, that was oh. us at Halloween. Oh. Oh. That's a little Harper up top, and uh, Gideon is her brother, uh, her older brother by one minute. He's oh. below her. He was oh. me. Um, yeah, that's more reason. <laughs> Yeah, it's David in the middle. Um, <laughs> they're great. Fatherhood's hilarious. It's fun, and um, the first year was tough. You know, it's really hard to know when they're crying and different cries. It's hard to know what it means because you just have no communication with them. But now that they're starting to learn the language, they don't talk yet, but they understand sort of complicated sentences. So it's much more fun now, and they're there. You can tell them, you know, take your binky, put it back in the crib, and then let's go downstairs for breakfast. And they look at you. So that's awesome. really cute. And they're very, very uh, cuddly, clingy now. They, oh. they run, and so they're running in, into the oh. arms. Oh, oh nice. how cute. And I understand Slowly. that you've taught them some sign language, actually? Well, we tried. I think the idea of sign, I mean, I love sign language, and the idea that uh, at this age, when they can't verbalize, so they know more, oh. that we teach them more, so they sit in their little high chairs, and they go like this a lot. <laughs> And Claire, who's our fantastic uh, nurse, she's from Cork, Ireland. Mm -hmm. And Claire always would say, are you all done? And she'd say, are you all done like this? And so now the kids, when they're full and they're eating, I just say, you want some more? And they're like this. <laughs> so that's the two <laughs> they know how to do. Oh, they know more. Oh, yeah. I was going to ask, do they have a sign to okay. tell you they got dirty diaper? Is there a sign for that? Um, I don't know that you need a sign for that. <laughs> yeah, that's the other sense, <laughs> right? You pretty much know right away. <laughs> That reveals itself. <laughs> now, you, you said something that I thought was so honest. I was kind of impressed with your honesty because sometimes people aren't so honest with relationships. You said, in relation to David, sometimes I'm deeply in love with David and head over heels, and sometimes I question whether it's going to work out and is meant to be. So tell what makes you question it, or do you think that's normal? Well, I said that because we were doing an article... Um, in the love issue of Out Magazine, which I thought was great, but I just didn't want to make I'm sure that that article didn't paint us as if we were some sort of uh, everything's happy, we're always in love and everything's good because, you know, we're on year uh, eight of our relationship and a long time. Ooh, yeah. And so, yeah. so when, I read that, when I read that afterwards, it sounds like I'm, it's like very scandalous, you know, like I'm questioning whether we're even meant to be together, but it's not like that. But, you know, love, love by design is that I feel like a, a healthy relationship you have to constantly be redefining what that means because right. for the first couple years you're just n things are new and you're figuring things out and you're so excited that you complete each other in in many ways but after a, after a length of time you kind of know all about each other and you sort of have to redesign what that 
notion means to you. And so with that comes moments where you're not so in love with each other. I think that's pretty normal. But we're in a super awesome place now, and he's a great dad and a great guy. We love him. We love him. So why? Yeah. He came in with you guys. He did. He did a great job. Yeah. After you leave here, you're heading across town to do something only you could do. You are introducing to the world a new M&M. Get this. <laughs> Not a new M&M. You know, uh, the brown M&M has never had a character on the commercials and such. So, uh, it turns out that Ms. Brown has existed for, for like 70 years. Yeah. She just didn't want the, she's been their chief chocolate officer at the factory. So now she's coming, and uh, on the, the Super Bowl, they're going to uh, have a commercial about her. And the M&M's company asked me, of all people, to come on shows like this and talk about f freaking M&M's. <laughs> She looks like so you're gonna see her image and she's been in silhouette this whole time you're gonna see what she looks like as of today and then you can watch the thing later i love it don't go away more with neil patrick harris when we come right back for tickets to be in our studio audience visit us on our website everyday life bring it with bounty basic affordably priced tested by everyday life what happened did i pass out not exactly i'm pregnant Are you sure you're not just getting fat? <laughs> that was a clip from How I Met Your Mother and we're back with Neil Patrick Harris. Did that hurt? <laughs> so it did take four. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so so hilarious on How I Met Your Mother. And I, I think, obviously, so many people remember you as that smart, precocious young doctor on Doogie Howser, but yeah. yes, which is yeah. fabulous. So. MD, but I actually heard that back then uh, you used to go out a lot. You used to club a lot when you were playing that kid. That's I did. True. You know, I went out more before I turned 21 <laughs> than once I turned 21 because that was kind of that hip uh, River Phoenix y, uh, what was that cool bar? Oh, the Viper Viper Room, Viper room oh, area Rock where Mary. we went out. Roxbury's. Yeah. We'd oh, go yes. out. See <laughs> Shannon Doherty and she'd get in a cat fight with somebody. <laughs> and, then, um, and so, yeah, I had a fake ID and everything. Stephen Dorff and I. Oh, look, Stephen Dorff. Oh, oh my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. Yeah. With the fake ID. So imagine, imagine the sad bouncer that has to let us into a club. Yeah, you're 21. Yeah, pretend. Yeah, sure. You guys yeah. pretend that you were 21 from yeah. that picture. Yeah, yeah. How'd you get a fake ID? I think ID? the thing I said, I, how'd I get a fake ID? Mm -hmm. um, well, back then, that. the fake IDs didn't, had, didn't have all the bells and whistles that they have oh, now mm -hmm. with mm -hmm. images and pictures and stuff. So I gave like 50 bucks so to some easy. guy. And I, it said my name was uh, Fred Savage. And <laughs> <laughs> you have legions of fans from throughout your career, and you're connected with 2.5 million of them on Twitter. They follow Twitter, you. Yeah, I love the Twitter. Yeah. Twitter's awesome. Yeah. So we thought you would be the perfect oh, guest. Oh, uh, legendary. That was very nice. We thought you would be the perfect guest to challenge us to a little game called To Tell the Tweet. <laughs> In front of you, Neil, yes. is a list of tweets. Indeed. As you read each of them, we're gonna take turns. I feel like I'm on Big Brother. <laughs> One. The power's up for grabs. Yes. <laughs> we're gonna take turns deciding if you really did tweet that or okay. if it was a different celebrity right. um, by holding up the paddles. Okay. So I'll start first. You go. All right, Julie. Say the first. Okay. Here's the first tweet. I just woke up. My head is pounding. My toilet is filled with gold. <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> uh, oh, do we ask? No, it's just no, Julie. Just 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 oh. Let's have the answer. We don't play. It. Oh. Wrong. That was my tweet. Oh, <laughs> oh funny. After so a night of, of drinking uh, uh, oh. gold flaked alcohol shots. <laughs> oh. All right. Or some kind of terrible elf in... <laughs> You've done that with an elf? Yeah, before. one of the two. Or oh, spray tan. Yes, oh, leprechaun. <laughs> really? Back to the spray tan. <laughs> All right, question two. Are you sure? Ready? Yes, I'm ready. I've been carded the last two times I bought alcohol. Do you know how awesome that is? Oh. 
Answer. Oh! oh that was not a tweet from me. That was a tweet from Sarah. <laughs> Twitter, okay. very cryptic. Are you ready? We need a point, Pat. Pat, you know it's a good birthday when you... It didn't start with Pat. You know it's a good birthday when you fall asleep in bed covered in barbecue sauce. <laughs> Answer. <laughs> you really thought I would say that? <laughs> Pat <Funny, funny. laughs> randomly was Jason Siegel. Oh. <laughs> I don't think that needs much of an explanation. <laughs> Are you ready, sir? I'm ready to take this home for the team. Okay. <laughs> okay, you're have to... Oof. Just ate a giant, nasty beef burrito for dinner. Happy Cinco de Mayo, no. <laughs> Answer? <laughs> That's right. Oh! All right. Okay, we got. Here we go. Ready? Here's your final one. Uh -huh. Note to bleached blondes who are toning. Do not fear the sting of toner. Wait five minutes, and it's just so painful your scalp will numb. Ooh. That just does not sound like you. Answer? That's right. <laughs> it was Lady Gaga. Oh. 